Oh, freight guys, look what I got going. Um, yeah, I'm out here messing around. As you guys see here, shit's pulled apart. It's dark outside. So, I got to mess with this thing. I got her posted on my uh, local um, uh, buy sell trade here. And um, yeah, uh, I'm debating whether I'm going to keep it or not. I would love to hear it run at least once if I uh, go to get rid of it. I don't know. Um, so what I've done is, is I've pulled the shroud off here. So here's the shroud. You can see the fly one here. Carburetor's off of it. Um, this carburetor is like leaking water out of it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's just water dripping out. Um, no fuel in there. These fuel lines are completely crusty, like hard rock riddle. See, look, it just barely, you know, just broke the frig off. So anyhow. Um, uh, my deduction is um, this motor is not seized. Originally, I don't know how much you guys have watched me. Um, I thought this motor was seized, and it is not. Um, what I found out is, see the little sprocket here on the top? Um, this piece here uh, slots into the uh, into the uh, shroud, and um, that's the mechanism. When you pull it out, it allows it to go back in. Well, on this one, that's what's seized. I mean, the thing is stuck like Chuck. Okay, so. The uh, engine, you know, I took the plug out of it, so one finger should turn around pretty easy. So it's got a little tough spot there, but I think that's just from it sitting. But I don't think it would take much to make this thing run. I really, really don't think it would take much. So, um, yeah, it kind of made me excited when I pulled this off of there. Um, that top little bit there isn't hard to get to. It's got four little bolts, screw deweys there, and I uh, take that thing out of there. Um, but other than that, that's all I've done. I mean, um, Drug the thing in here, throwed it up on my trailer, and drug it in the house or in the garage here. Yeah, pretty nice. So, yeah, that carburetor is just sticked, guys. Um, this is one. It's got the little hole do in the front there, and it's gone. I don't know who, what tried to do that, but um, the. Uh, uh, sorry about the lighting, guys. Uh, I've only got one good light out here. Um, it's going this side. Um, so it says choke. It says choke there on the end. But um, there was nothing hooked to it, uh, so because you got two little flaps there, and one's governor, and one's for the thing, you know, for the idle. But um, I'm assuming the choke is done, you know, um, automatically through the deuce, just like the other ones. Um, but I don't know, guys. Um, I'm really, really contemplating keeping it. But uh, I don't know if I could make it run with this engine on there. That'd be freaking awesome. Um, swap this transmission, put a different uh, chain on it, because I think the chain is just dicker on it. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to try to split that off tonight and dunk it in some. Uh, uh, degreaser and leave her there overnight and uh, see what goes on but uh yeah um sorry about the last couple videos guys um it's just been rough for me so uh maybe doing something like this getting something running you know make me feel a little better because uh i'm just you know it's been just kind of a dickered situation guys so all you guys are out there watching me you know hit the thumbs up button for me with thumbs up and um yeah so we'll see what goes on like i said i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with it but i've got some ideas if i keep her so yeah guys until next time bye bye